Earlier today, April 5th, 2024, marks a sad day for old jet and aviation lovers as Michigan-based Coletta Charters II has retired its final Boeing 727 freighter. November 729 Charlie Kilo, serial number 22982, was a Boeing 727-264 built in May 1982. The almost 42-year-old aircraft was the last operating 727 in Coletta's fleet. The aircraft was ferried from the company's headquarters at Willow Run, KYIP, to its maintenance and storage facility in Oscoda, KOSC. The short 39-minute flight operated as KII-729 or Dragster 729. Prior to its retirement today, the airline was able to squeeze in one last revenue haul with the aircraft when it flew from Willow Run to Laredo, Texas and then back to Willow. Over the last few years, Coletta has slowly replaced its 727 fleet with the newer Boeing 737, largely in part to the cost of maintaining the older airframes. But the final nail in the 727's coffin would come as the cost required for the upgrades to the aircraft due to the 5G. Throughout its history, Coletta has operated a total of nine 727s. These aircraft included the following registrations. November 720 Charlie Kilo, November 722 CK, November 723 CK, November 724 CK, November 725 CK, November 726 CK, November 727 CK, November 728 CK, and November 729 CK. November 726 Charlie Kilo, serial number 21951, was the second to last 727 to be retired, flying up until earlier this year when it was stored February 6th. Another notable 727 from the above registrations was November 725 CK. In its Tex Sutton Special Livery, 725 was known as Air Horse 1 because of the special role it played in being contracted to fly horses. By the end of 2021, Coletta no longer was contracted to use the aircraft for animal charters and the aircraft was repainted in March 2022. The aircraft would join the rest of the 727 fleet flying cargo until it was retired in May 2023. Coletta Charters 2 is currently based at Michigan's Willow Run Airport, where it operates ADHOC cargo charter flights, as well as operating contracted flying for DHL. Coletta Charters 2, or KII, operates as a 121 character, where its other half, Coletta Charters, KFS, operates on the 135 side. Coletta Charters has a smaller fleet of aircraft such as the Falcon 20 and many Learjet variants, which it operates for passenger charters, medevac, and smaller cargo. They are also contracted with the United States government to fly the remains of fallen U.S. service members. Coletta Charters II currently operates a cargo fleet of 17 Boeing 737 aircraft. The fleet is broken down as five 737-300s, eight 737-400s, and four 737-800s. The company took delivery of its first 737 in July 2015, when November 730 Charlie Kilo, a Boeing 737-400, was delivered to Willow Run. The 737 fleet is currently painted in four different liveries, the old Coletta Charters II red and gray stripe livery, the new Coletta Charter II checkerboard livery, the hybrid DHL livery, and the full DHL livery. Coletta Charters and Charters 2 also share its headquarters at Willow Run with its sister company Coletta Air, CKS. Where the Coletta Charter Airlines operate relatively small aircraft, Coletta Air operates heavy cargo aircraft. The airline flies both scheduled and attic flights domestically and internationally. On top of its aircraft for DHL, Coletta Air operates aircraft for other airlines as well as the U.S. military. Its current fleet consists of 24 Boeing 747-400s and 5 Boeing 777-200 freighters. The airline is also notable as the launch customer of the first Boeing 777-300 freighter, expected to be delivered later this year. Although there may now be one less Boeing 727 operator, thankfully some other carriers in the Michigan aviation scene are keeping theirs flying a little longer. Also based at Willow Run, Michigan-based USA Jet operates two Boeing 727-200s for cargo use. 
Although November 726 US recently came out of heavy check and paint in June of 2023, and November 727 US is currently having the same done, it is rumored the company will retire them in the next two years and add its first 737 aircraft to the fleet to complement its current fleet of McDonnell Douglas MD-88s. Another chance to catch the 727 in Michigan is just a few airports down the road at Oakland County International, KPTK, where cargo carrier IFL Group is based. The airline currently operates three of the Boeing 727s, registered as November 215 Whiskey Echo, 216 Whiskey Echo, and 281 Fox Lima. Although not in Michigan, but right across the border in Ohio, Toledo-based Interjet West operates a single Boeing 727 registered as November 209 Tango Romeo. The aircraft has spent quite some time at Willow Run when it had a heavy check done out of Hangar 1 in 2014 before entering service with the company. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really enjoy making these types of videos and have some more aircraft history type ones in the work. If you did like it, don't forget to like or comment and subscribe if you haven't already and want to see similar upcoming content. Thanks for watching. Roger, so I'll let you number two, runway uh, five, quick action. They are full stop.